on your team, Coach? Uh, yeah, you know, we're, uh, you know, it's not lost on us who we're playing. Uh, just a, a historic program with a legendary head coach, uh, 40 wins and 40 straight seasons. <clears throat> Put that in perspective for you, Coach. I'm 45 years old, so unbelievably uh, impressive. I can coach three lifetimes. I'm not going to amass what this gentleman has done and uh, look up to him. Uh, I think anybody in my position in the coaching ranks, we all do. Uh, so it's not lost on us what we're up against and uh, who we're playing and the type of history uh, that you know we're going up against. Uh, you know, this is a, an opportunity that I've spoken on several times, and uh, it's, it's, it's just not about us. This is uh, much bigger than us. Uh, this, is, this is all about hope and, and love and unity and uh, bringing a community together, a university together, uh, an administration that has more than paid their dues 35 plus years <coughs> here. Uh, Coach Bobby Williams, Coach Thompson, uh, Dr. Hoyt, our president, uh, just all of these people have incredible vision and have grinded and, and blood and sweat for this program. And, uh, not to mention uh, all the players and coaches and teams that have gone before us. Uh, you know, this is, it's, it's for a community, a university, and it's, uh, it's, it's for our home state. And uh, there's, I mentioned the word hope because I, I, I truly do. I believe this is bigger than us, and I believe that. Uh, you know, throughout this whole journey, we have given hope to people that need it. And we have given people something to believe in. And, uh, you know, I had a dad tell me the other day, he reunited me with my son. Uh, we're both Bearcat fans, diehards, and we haven't talked in a while. And, and what you guys did in Lubbock reunited us. And that's why I say I believe that this is deeper. And uh, we can absolutely feel the support. Uh, we can feel the love, it's palpable, and uh, it is really driving and propelling this team right now. Uh, this is a team, uh, so you know, <clears throat> that is not happy to be here, not just happy to be here. Uh, this is not a cherry on top of our season. This is not gravy. Uh, this is all part of our vision. Uh, that when, when we walked in from day one three years ago, uh, our vision is clearly simple. We state it to every mom and dad and kid that sit in my office. Uh, top 25 RPI, 40 plus wins, Southland Conference champs, Southland Conference tournament champs, regional champs, and ultimately as a university, a community, and a program, the opportunity to walk through the gates of Omaha. That opportunity is now upon us. It will be solely up to us to take the action and go do something about it. Our boys are prepared, they're ready, they're unafraid, they accept the opportunity, they understand the stakes, uh, they understand who we're going up against. There's great respect, but there's no backup or there's no flinch in them, I promise you that. Any questions for Coach, please? Coach, when you think about this run you've been on, whether it's you or Davidson or even Coastal last year, I mean, what do you tell your kids about the whole idea that, hey, look, like this is the sort of tournament where, you know, just when people think, oh, you might be a first round exit, you look up next thing you know, you could realistically be in Omaha. Well, baseball is a, a, a different sport than, say, football or basketball. Uh, football or basketball, if I'm physically uh, more talented than you or I'm bigger and stronger than you and I can execute, I'm probably <coughs> going to run over you all day and there's nothing you can do about it. And uh, baseball is different. Uh, baseball is about playing good when it matters. It's about playing good at the right time. And I think uh, I'm speaking to my ball club, and I know Coach's team has done this as well. Uh, both of us have played really well when it matters. And that's a testament to the kids. That's a testament to their mental toughness, their mental tenacity, their fortitude, their ability to play together. But most of all, their ability to never quit or surrender <coughs> in tough times, because I think both ball clubs this year encountered extremely tough times. And so uh, we're both battle tested. We've both seen the, the highs. We've both been in the the pits of the lows, and uh, somehow, some way, we all stayed together, and here we are, two teams, uh, with an opportunity to go to Omaha. The coach, you talk about the message of hope that you kind of deliver to your team. Has that message now kind of permeated the locker room? Has your team truly accepted this challenge of where now the hope for Sam used to say? 100%, you know. Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, this is a, a team that, that truly believes 
that they're in the business of the impossible. And it has nothing to do with uh, beating Texas Tech or Arizona. It has to do with the, the second chances that are on that team, starting with myself, and it just bleeds itself through the entire ball club and uh, redemption. And that, you know what, yeah, all things are possible. And uh, we truly believe that. We live. This program lives by Matthew 19, 26. Uh, we believe that with man it is impossible, with God all things are, are possible. And uh, that's the way we live our lives. Uh, you know, like I talked the other day, we're in the business of developing men. And uh, we truly believe in faith, sacrifice, and obedience. And uh, this is a team that loves each other. And love has no fear. And love, you know, it conquers all. And so uh, this is a, a, just a very, very tight-knit ball club that's a brotherhood. And uh, you're going to find a lot more talented players, uh, but it's going to be hard to find a, a better team or unit. And uh, so uh, that's the special part about this team. How long did it take this team to just, for lack of better words, kind of get over the fact that you guys beat Texas Tech and then refocus on the Florida State? Was it an instantaneous thing, or did you kind of bask in the glory for a little bit? These kids just love to play, all right? And it's hard to explain. Uh, they just have a passion for baseball. They have a passion for each other. And really, wins and losses don't get to us, really. They, we don't, we don't the, the pages turn fairly quickly. It's just all about fight. It's, it's kids' game, and we got a bunch of kids, including myself, that just love to compete and love to play. When's the next one? And so we're probably an hour and a half down the road on a nine hour bus ride. And look up, everybody's asleep, and we turn the page and it's on to the next one. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, like I said, this is a unique group. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe any moment's been too big for us. And, uh, you know, so we'll see what happens. And just speaking of moments, I mean, does it help, though, that you were able to go onto someone else's field and knock them out of the tournament and now can you train them out instead of coming to Florida State's house? 100%. Uh, you know, I believe that Texas Tech, I'll start with them. They're, they're one of the top three teams in the country. I actually feel bad that Texas Tech's not still playing. Obviously, I'm glad we beat them. I mean that in a respectful way, that they are an incredible ball club. Uh, Arizona is as well coached a team and, and unit as you'll find. Uh, they play in a definitive system, and they have a lot of fun doing it, and they're very tough to beat. Uh, so what we did accomplish was, it was, it was next, it was very improbable. And uh, we did, and, and yeah, you're always gonna feel a confidence from that. And you know, confidence is, a, this is the most powerful thing there is. If you could sell it, you'd be a billionaire. Uh, it's very hard to find in this game because this game is very humbling and it's centered on failure. And uh, so when you get confident at the right time, anything's possible. As far as your team, I mean, we know a little bit about just kind of the style you play, fun, heavy team, team that keeps everybody on their toes. What do you know about Florida State and kind of what they've done this year in their style of baseball? Well, you know, it starts at the top of coach, and uh, they're going to be super well prepared. Uh, they're going to be super talented, okay? Uh, they're a very balanced team. They're not going to beat themselves. Uh, they're going to be able to pitch it super efficiently, okay? They're going to dominate routine plays. And at the plate, they're not going to chase. They're going to get their pitch. And if, if, if you're generous, if you lose the battle of the freebies, they're going to absolutely make your life miserable. Uh, they have the ability to hit the ball out of ballpark. The ability to hit a lot of doubles. They can execute if they need to, uh, but more than anything, they command that strike zone. They get their pitch, and when they do, they hammer. And as far as the way your team plays, how do you get that many guys to kind of buy into that? Where if you need to tell your four or five hole hitter bun, they just say okay and do it because not a lot of guys, you know, may want to do that. Well, they understand that in the recruiting process. Uh, we're a pack, and you know, the strength of the pack is a wolf, but the strength of the wolf is the pack. They understand that to take a buffalo down, <laughs> if you're a pack of wolves, you're not going in there by yourself. If you do, you will get gored and you're gonna die. So everybody has a job due to your function in order to take that buffalo down. They understand that from day one. So they understand their job due to your function and they go out and they execute their job. If they don't, they're gonna be held accountable to that, not just by me, but by the other members of the pack. And so there's an intrinsic pride in doing your job. There's an intrinsic pride in being selfless and in giving yourself up.
we embrace that type of stuff. Coach, it's one thing to you know, preach a message, but it's another thing entirely for the team to truly buy in and really also live that message for you. How much pride do you feel as a coach that the team has truly bought into what you're selling for them? Well, culture is what you teach daily, and you must motivate daily. And in order to get guys to do what they don't want to do, you have to make them like it, and you have to make them believe in it. And you've got to sell that, and they have to see your passion, and they have to see who you really are, and they need to, at times, see the fruits of their labor. And uh, it starts for us in the recruiting process. You know, we call them OKGs, our kind of guys. And you, you have to fit who we are. Well, who are we? Perpetual underdogs, overachievers, blue-collar guys. Uh, that pretty much, speaking for myself, came from very humble beginnings. And uh, that's who we seek out and find. And, you know, along the way, you better have a pretty good blend of speed and strength and have some good arm action, be able to do a few things. Uh, but we'll turn over every rock finding that guy. You know, we have a lot of football players on our team. Uh, guys that are athletic uh, that maybe didn't, did not do a whole lot baseball-wise, but they're super athletic. The thing about athletes is they make adjustments. Normal, average players have problems making adjustments. Athletes don't. And so, uh, we cultivate that, we preach that, we recruit that, and they understand it from day one. So if you say yes to Sam Houston State, you already know that you're in the pack. And uh, you, you understand what's in front of you. You understand how hard we're gonna push and how hard we're gonna grind. And uh, you're signing up for something that's bigger than yourself. This is not, this ball, this ball club is not built on personal awards or adulations. This is not about you, it ain't about me. We'll win with or without whoever, and that includes myself. This is about team. This is about the pack. Coach, have you settled on a starting rotation beyond game one? I haven't decided who we're going to throw yet. Game one, game two, I haven't decided. Uh, you know, we're still looking at it. Coach, with being in this uh, this round of Super Regionals for the first time, and this also put the Bearcats in new territory with uh, playing on the with the eve of the, the draft coming up. What do you what do you tell your seniors and prospects just about the, the focus that that they need a, as a team? Well, like I just said, uh, it's not about the draft. I don't. When is the draft? Monday. Monday. I didn't know. Uh, I don't know if all of them know. Uh, so. It's not about the draft, it's not about MVPs, it's not about, we could care less about any of that stuff. It's about something way bigger than us, it's about a team, it's about a brotherhood, it's about relationships that are gonna last a lifetime. Uh, so I don't think that's a distraction for anybody. What else that?